Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time on a Nightcore MH27. Now I was sent this flashlight by banggood.com for review. Comes in this box. So this is a multicolored LED light. Has a thousand lumens on turbo and it is USB rechargeable so let's wait no further and open this up and see what's in comes with a quality check tag there comes with the user manual here very well detailed and we'll go over some of the light outputs here just so you can see those all right comes with a warranty card comes with the holster here comes with a lanyard extra set of o-rings it does come with a clip for that light as well here's the micro USB charging cable and the holster feels pretty good feels like it's pretty good quality a lot of padding on here now the bottom is open so if you're leaning up against stuff banging it Sometimes you tend to scratch up the bottom tail cap area. So just to let you know, but uh, other than that, the quality of this holster is really good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the light. Now this comes in, does not come on the light. I put this on there, comes separately in the package there. I kind of like that so you can hold it like this if you need to. Also it stops it from rolling. Here's the USB charging port area. Tail switch. Got the side switches up here. Got the nice steel bezel on there. And there's the LEDs in there, three of them there. See them crisscross from one another. Now this is running the Smooth Reflector Cree XP-L high LED in there. And the other ones are colored in there. Top notch quality machining on Nikkor lights have never ever been an issue knurling on here is nice done a lot of Nikkor flashlights and uh, they have never let me down as far as quality and performance alright so let's go ahead and I'll show you what battery I'm using in here to run it I'm running the Samsung 35E. This is a protected cell. It's 3500 milliamps. And I'll go ahead and show you the springs here. Well greased on the threads as well. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the barrel off the head here. And this has a contact point with a spring well greased on the threads there as well. We'll go ahead and put this back together. So 
All right. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go through the UI. Activate the light, of course, turns that on. And we're going to go through the light outputs. And it won't go any higher than that because you have a left or a positive. You have a positive and negative on the switch. So now we can go back down. Now when you hit negative, again, past the lowest setting, now you have your red LED is on. Then goes to green. Then you have blue. And that's as far as you can go. So now you have to go back up with the right button, which is the plus, And you're going to go back through the light outputs. Okay, so now that we've gone through these light outputs, in order to get strobe, you're going to press and hold both of these down at the same time. Get your strobe. Now you have beacon. SOS. And you can cycle back through those left or right with that plus and negative button, which is really interesting. And then if you want to back back out of it, press both again, and you're back into the regular UI. Just an amazing light. So let's go ahead and show you we're going to go ahead and show you the beam. Really nice on that. And we'll go ahead and show you the color beams on that. Very floody on those. Very nice. Super focused hot spot on there. And that's a lot of light coming out of there. Amazing. All right. So let's go ahead and take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the night core. And we are going to go ahead and turn it on and as you can see hit it on faintly you can make that seven to ten feet there and of course the water spout so we're going to go up to the next level and as you can see the spill there faintly there we're going to go ahead and pan over here to the tree line and fence line see the spill there on the fence so just not enough light output to show any further, but easily making 60 feet there. So we're going to go ahead and go over to the next level. Spill is improving there. Spot is nice and bright there. And it is easily making it across the park at this light output, which is incredible. Now this is a thrower, so you can see the spill there and the spot there in the very middle, looking really nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and test this light output on the Tree of Life, making those trees across the park there. 
one behind it. And there's the tree of life. All right. We're just going to pan around over here, see how it looks out. And we're looking good here so far. All right, the bushes. All right, so we're going to head back over to the famous water spout. And the spill has increased, and that spot is intensified, so that's good. Usually making it now, as you can see, across the park. And that is really impressive. A lot of range on that. The other park. Tree line. And look at that. That's really impressive from this little light. That's crazy. We're going to go over to the other side of the park here, look at that. Amazing from this little light right here. Trees there. Bleachers. Tree of life. And we're going to try out those palm trees. And look at that. Even makes that further one there in the distance. One or closer up. Look at that. Amazing. Just amazing. All right, so now we're going to go back down and we're going to go to the colored spectrum of this flashlight. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. That is on red. And we'll see if we can get on the fence here so we can get an idea here. And of course, it's not going to have a lot of range on that color. Look at that. Not bad. And you have blue. And it's a little dark, dark spot there in the, the beam. It's pretty typical on these type of flashlights. And there's the blue. And we're back to the regular outputs. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed those night shots. This thing has some really, really good throwing power. Um, very impressed with the uh, range that this thing can throw that light out there into the distances. I like the fact that it is USB rechargeable. Now the multi-LED emitters is also a nice thing to have. I uh, kind of wish this had the ultraviolet would have been nice, but not a big con. The build quality on these night cores I've never ever have been disappointed with. Excellent quality, top-notch lights. And I just want to thank banggood.com for sending me this light to review. If you are interested in getting this light, you can look up right up on that screen. Banggood has provided me a special discount code. Save you a lot of money on this light, should you be interested. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.